Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to do another tutorial. This time it's going to be a mix between two mods. It's going to be a mix between Industrial Craft 2 and Red Power 2. Um, yeah, we need two mods for, for this setup I have in mind. And retriever deployer and I also need a filter. Don't know where that went. So as you can see currently in my inventory I only have red power stuff because even though this is mostly for expanding on industrial craft, uh, most of the machine is made using red power. So let's we'll do like this. And it's getting night time already. And like this. And I think we're going to put the filter like this, yes. The deployer. Like this. No. Like this. And the retriever. Okay. Like this. Yeah. I think it's. Okay. So the retriever runs on Plutricity, which is part of of uh, Red Power. And you do like this. And for good measures, a bat battery box which stores Red Power energy is built with iron ingots, blue alloy ingots which is nickelite and silver in an alloy furnace which is a machine added by Red Power and some batteries with this which is made by copper and tin and some nickelite. That's the bat box, that's just for storing the energy. Then we have a, a filter which is red top wafer, gold, cobblestone and a piston. You need the retriever which is the expensive part, it needs a filter so you actually need two filters to build this machine. It needs brass which is made in a alloy furnace using copper and tin and then you get four brass. Then we need two ender poles which is why it's expensive because they're not easy to get by. And you have some iron ingots, a blue alloy uh, ingot and of course some leather. Well, of course I say. Them. And then we need the deployer which is made with a piston, a chest, some copper, a couple and a piece of redstone. I will also need to dig out here. And then we'll just... yeah, it's getting power. You can see this one is getting power as well. Then you need some more redstone wire. Three should be enough. Just across here. We're also going to need some water. Like this, because then we create an infinite water source right here. Then we place this here in the filter, which you need to accept here. You need to put water bucket. It's important this one has water in it, and we need an empty bucket which we will put in the retriever. Okay. Then we need the industrial craft part, which is the water mill. And I know m not very many people use this, because it's not actually very good. But the secret about them is, if you add a water bucket inside them, they actually produce a fair amount of power. So just it works best if you use gl glass fiber cables, but in theory you can use any. That was nice spelling. So let's just get some glass fiber cables. And you can actually make this as big as you want, but if you're not using glass fiber cables, you're probably going to need a few bat boxes as well. And let's place this here. 
And currently it's not receiving power. Because now we need some buckets. And you need at least one bucket for each uh, water mill here. But I will say two is probably better. Let me stuff those in there and then we add a timer. I believe it's placed like this. It was not. Place it the other way then. Yeah. And again, you can set this down to 550, I would say, and it's still running. You can see buckets going that way. That's the wrong way. Okay, so I turned that one the wrong way. Like this, we need to, to place, yes. Because then the deployer will make water buckets out of our infinite water source. And for some reason, it's now spitting them out. Probably because we have so many buckets, so the system can't keep up, maybe. Let's try putting them in. Oh. Have I turned this wrong? Yeah. Ah, uh, and I did it multiple times now. Okay, like this. So you need to be sure your stuff is... And uh, never right-click with the screwdriver. Unless you're sure what you're doing. So... The thing is, this here will now take buckets, turn them into full water buckets. Thanks to our infinite water source. The filter here will take full water buckets and send them to the system here, which will then fill the, fill the water mills. And the retriever here is set to pull out empty buckets. So once a bucket here becomes empty, the retriever will pull it back and put it back into the system. And we should see power. So this is a not cheap way, because as I s this retriever is expensive, but it is quite an efficient way to produce a lot of power once you have it up and running. And it's much better, in my opinion, than windmill mills or solar panels from industrial craft for the sole reason that this will run always. No matter the weather, just if it's sunny, if it's night, this will always run. And it looks cool just standing here watching all those buckets fighting to get into the water mills. So, yeah, that was the water mill factory. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a like and uh, maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you later.